What's up everybody? Welcome to my new video. Today we are uh, continuing on this DC motor type thing. But you know what I noticed? I, I, I restarted my computer, right? Because it was bugging on me. I forgot what it was. All the videos. Like when I record, right? I play the videos with QuickTime. And um, they just weren't playing. So I don't know. I restarted it and it worked, but since I had the browser open, uh, it kind of messed it up a little bit. You see this right here, like this, this is like right here, if statements, everything's like misplaced, pretty much. Let me see, uh, I don't think it would do it, but control Z, maybe. No, there's no other way to go back, not that I know of, oh, but, you know, we do have, <laughs> we can go all the way to the beginning, and just kind of write code, just kind of go over it real quick, um, constant, control pin, one, two, three, nine, directions, switch state pin, four, five, okay, Next we have on off switch state zero Previ uh, previous on off <coughs> switch state zero direction switch state previous direction switch state okay cool no motor enabled zero motor speed motor direction okay Declare okay, so void void setup void setup. I don't know where it's gonna close. I think it's gonna close here. Why why did it just add it? I think it's gonna close there. But let's go ahead and keep going. Oh, that's the whole, oh, never mind. That's the whole, that's the whole setup right here. So we have void setup, pin mode, six of them. Oof. Okay. So first one, first one's an input. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> shit, I just... Should I try to salvage this code, or should I just start from the, from the start? Um, I'll salvage this one, I'll salvage this one. And these down here, this can go. Yeah, this can go. Okay. So, pin mode, I'm, I'll close it out right here. So this is basically a, a debugging video. Um, okay, cool. That's something I didn't think I would be doing, but that's just what it is. Wait, direction switch state pin. Oh, okay. I was like, I don't have that. But all you need to do is scroll up. Okay, switch. Oh no, that's that's this one here. That's that right there. Okay, so those are the first two. Switch state pin. On off switch state pin. So now we need, how many is it? Five of them? One, two, three, four, five, and then digital, right? Five total. Mode. And then it's gonna be some sort of put, either output or something else. Gonna be three of them. Okay, so control. Let's see, control pin one. Maybe it's because I copy and pasted it. Maybe that's why. Who knows? And then I'll just paste this one here. And then we have enable pin right here. And then I think these are all output. I should have just. 
pasted them all right there. But we're here now. Output. All right. And there's one more digital right, which should be this one here. Why is it spelled that way? Digital. Yeah, it's kind of weird. That looks more normal. Okay. Digital. Yeah, digital. Maybe I misspelled it and it saved it. Digital right. Is this saving all the keystrokes, bro? Enable pin low. It might be. It might be saving all the keystrokes. Okay, so enable pin. Yeah, that's it. Enable pin. Next up, void loop. That's where this starts. So we'll do that one. one. Line away. So we'll do. Now, if you hear the outdoors, like cars and stuff, is because it's way too hot in California right now. I'm not closing the window, bro. It's just wild right now. It's like in the 90s. All right, so on off switch state. On off, on off, switch state, on off, switch state, yes, yeah, it's, it's a little bit weird. On off, switch state, digital read, digital read, on off, switch state, pin, on off, switch state, pin, delay one, delay one. Um, yeah, I wonder how that happens, it just jumbles up the code. Like it just threw in random characters like a like an alphabet soup of some sort. Um, direction switch state, direction switch state, digital read, digital read, direction switch state, pan, direction switch state, pan without this here. Motor speed analog read. Motor speed analog read. Pop pan divided by four. Petat, petat, pop pin, pop pin, analog read, did I spell analog right? Okay, cool. I think that's it for that one. Okay. Why, why is this outside, bro? It's wild, bro. Okay. <coughs> Let's make a little space just so I know which ones are the good ones and which ones are off. So this is, we're good here. I might, I might not be able to do the whole thing right now to be honest. Or should we just make this a, a, a whole, just a, I guess we'll make this. I, I, I was trying to finish up the code but um, yeah this is just going to be debugging. Okay so. Okay, so a new statement inside of a new statement. I'm gonna take this. I'll salvage this here. Salvage this. This can go. I'm not gonna delete it just yet because I might need it. I'll do that there. Like that. Put this. Yo, what are you doing, bro? Put this in here, like that. What are we doing in there? On off switch state. On off switch state. Right here. Previous on off switch state. Previous on off switch state. that in here all right what are we gonna do for equals so we're gonna do on off switch state and high on off switch state and high is that in here as well here's high on off switch state I think it's just this one 
Yo, no. Okay, right there. I pressed all. I'll now switch state. And then we'll just type it out. It's only four, four letters. Okay, now inside of the if, the nested if, motor enabled twice. It's this line right here. Like that. Motor enabled, and then motor enabled, whoa, not like that. It is like this, like that. Motor enabled. This is interesting. I've never seen this before. Maybe because it's a browser, a browser, but but like, even after shutting off, um, like VS Code and reopening it, I've never seen. I've never seen anything like this. It just jumbles up your code. Either the file doesn't open, which is what I've seen most most common, but but like showing you the code but jumbled up. Yeah, that's something new. Okay, so that's the end of the nested if. So, this is good code. Good code. Okay, cool. Um, okay, let's, I don't think I need this anymore. But I'll, I'll leave it just in case I need to copy it. Check for direction. Direction switch state. So, pretty much the same thing that I did before. But... But, um, a little bit different. So, if direction switch state, I'm just going to copy, do I have direction somewhere? Right here. Direction. Oh, here it is. Is it this one? Wait, 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 wait. I think it's this one. Let me see if I can solve it. I think it's this one here. Hold on. Maybe this one. Let's see. It's an if statement instead of another one. Okay. This one has its... Let's see. It's closer for this one. On a... F uh, direction switch the direction damn that's a long ass how many how many letters is that bro um on a switch thing space that out on off switch state but instead of being on off it's a direction direction switch state direction and what was it it was uh you know these here what's the second one it was it's an equals with high and then the inside is motor direction something like that was that two spaces or no? motor enabled no, motor direction. Actually, I could have just double clicked it. Boom. Motor direction for both. And it's a little bit different. Motor direction. Okay. Okay, now back to the top. Previous direction switch state. Previous. I think I got it. I think it's previous direction like that previous direction switch to there it is previous direction previous direction previous direction and direction switch state which is the same one as this one like that direction switch state and I think that's all. This one though, it doesn't look like it's... No, 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 This one doesn't look like it's spaced out twice. There it is. It 
to two space, two spaces, two space indent. Okay, so that's as far as that goes. I don't know how far was that, huh? How far was that? It's probably the longest video I made in a while. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. So this could go. So I can finish. I got like three le three minutes left on the camera to record. Um, motor direction equals one. This one, hold on. like that. Motor direction one. Digital right control pin one. High low. Else digital right control pin one. Low high. Perfect. Yeah, it's just perfect. Perfect. Next one, motor enabled. Okay, this one. All this one needs is a a backtrack type of thing. And then motor enabled equals one. Analog right, enable pin, motor speed, else, analog right. Enable pin, and we're done. Just need this here. As far as this goes, I still, you see right here, 11 out of 14, so I still have some left. But this video is just debugging, that's all that was. Thank you guys for watching, y'all have a good ass day, peace out.